Hey guys, today I'm doing a what's in my makeup bag video because <clears throat> you've seen a lot of other YouTubers do a what's in my handbag. So yeah, today's a what is in my makeup bag. So this um, mess down here is all my makeup things. So I think I should get started. So we will start with one of my favourite lipsticks. This is a Miner's Matte Effect Lipstick. Um, now it is called Vixen. Dun, dun, dun. Um, it's quite dark, so I usually don't wear this during the day as it is so dark. So moving on to our next lipstick. Now this next shade, I don't really know where it's from. I just kind of found it one day and I thought, oh, that's quite nice. So it is actually... Uh, kind of cool lipstick. I don't know where it's from though, so let's check. Marquins International Lipstick. I don't have a clue where Marquins is or what Marquins does, so probably makes makeup, but if you know more about them, feel free to say. Now, I'm doing these next two at the one time because they are both Ultra Plush Benefit Lip Gloss. So this first one is in Lollipop, and the second one is in Foxman's. I both love these shades, and I wear them out daily. Yeah, they're quite cool, and I love them. Now, I put these two items together because they go well. The Lily Lee Pin Pink Nail Polish, and this Crystal Crush. Crush those crystals. Light Reflecting Lip Gloss. I got this out the pharmacy for three ninety one. That's a bit of a rip-off for a lip gloss, but it is light reflecting, so yeah. This mixed lipstick is one of my favourite lipsticks. I love it. It is matte. It is Claire's Accessories Matte Bright Pink, and it is a lipstick. I just thought I'd tell you that. You probably already know. This next one I got out of Primark. It is 3D Shine Lip Gloss 27 in Nude. It was two pounds from Freemark. This next gloss is from Benefit. It is called Ultra Shine's Wild Child. Yeah, I really like this. I like the way it goes on. It's got a cool little brush, so I'll show you the cool brush. This is the cool little brush that um, you apply it with, and I love it. These are two of my favourite MAC lip liners. So this first one is More To Love. Pro Longwear Lip Pencil, and it's quite dark, as you can probably see here. Now, this next one is Cherry. It is a lip pencil too, and it's quite red. They are both from MAC, so they're both kind of the same. I'm going to get over with the two other Mark Wins products. This funny coloured lip balm I found. It is another one of these Mark Wins International Lipsticks. So yeah, if you're a fan of Mark Quinn's, be sure to check these out. I got this one out of a Monster High advent calendar we had one year. Um, and it's a black eyeshadow. And that's from Mark Quinn's as well. So Mark Quinn fans, it is your lucky day. Now, you probably can't see this lipstick and you're like, what is it? It is Mulberry. And I got it from Marks and Spencer's. So we'll take a look inside. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, moving on. This next one is the darkest lip shade I have. And it is an 663 Va Va Violet. And I love it and it's so cool. Sorry for the laughing there, that will not happen again. This next lipstick is Estee Lauder. I got it with my opening ceremony bag. It is called Pure Color 16 Candy Shimmer. Oh, one on the carpet. Oh, no, no, no. Come back, come back. I got this one from my Monster High advent calendar of what I had a few Christmases ago. And it goes on really well, actually, for something out of an advent. So we'll open it. It's really pretty and I love it. This is a lipstick with no lid. It's a lasting fix poncho pink lipstick. I don't know where the lid has gone, but it's a beautiful lipstick and it is very pink. So for all you pink lovers out there like Umbridge, he, this is your lucky day. This is L'Oreal Palace Paris. 
two to one rose sympathy and it you think it's a lipstick but it goes on kind of like a lip gloss so i'm going to show you as you can see the way you apply it is different and this little brush and it glides on so smoothly and i love okay so this is just a lip balm it is strawberry cupcake sweet scented lip balm and i just thought i'd show you it not much to it it is just a lip balm so yeah now you can't see this lipstick either this is an Estee Lauder beige shimmer so I'll show you what it's like inside so this one is nearly running out but it's a really cool lipstick and it's really easy to apply and I love it okay so this next shade is actually just from Tiki Max and I needed a kind of like overcoat kind of thing for my lip gloss it didn't show up even though this looks red it doesn't actually show up and it has a bit of shimmer in it so I just bought it and it really complements nice with all my lipsticks. This next one is a Peach Clears Accessories lipstick. Now, I like to wear this on summer days and it's really bright and I love it. It is so easy to apply, it's beautiful, and I like to wear it a lot. Now, next is my Smoky Eye Palette. And yeah, it is a it is a silky, easy to blend texture and eight hour wear with baked technology. And it shows you on the back how it works. I love it. This next one is a No 7 High Shine lipstick made in Italy. And I love it. It's bright like the other one, peach one. It's beautiful and it goes on really nice. This next one is a 17 eyeshadow. It is 45 Pink Mallow. It is all day wear eyeshadow. So if you like that all day look, then just buy this. This is a Master Drama Eyeliner. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's by Maybelline New York and it's actually turquoise and it's really beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is flawless and perfect. Every girl loves glitter, right? This is an Estee Lauder pot of um, pure colour. Steel on shadow paint and it is eight steel. Let me show you inside.